Hello and welcome to EndNotes, a supplemental bi-weekly series from the Erie Reader, courtesy of Menagerie Studio, coming at you live-ish from the Renaissance Center. And it's, you know, just for everyone who's looking for something cool to do this weekend and so forth. All right, firstly, Friday, check it out. There are things going on like Discover Presque Isle. It's starting up this Friday and runs basically all weekend long. It has tons of things to do. Uh, you know, on everyone's favorite peninsula, that would be Presque Isle. You know, you got live music and helicopter tours and all kinds of things. And for a full listing of events, go to discoverpi.com. And meanwhile, the Erie Playhouse is celebrating their 100th anniversary this weekend. Uh, for this centenarian bash, you have the Ultrasonic Rock Orchestra on Friday evening. There's a street fair block party type situation on West 10th Street from 11.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday with music, food, and fun activities for all ages. And then that evening, there's the 100 Years of the Playhouse, a one-night-only concert extravaganza. Then, on Sunday, they're having an, an 11 a.m. brunch at the Ambassador Banquet and Conference Center. So there's a lot going on at the Erie Playhouse as well. And this Friday, the 28th, is also gallery night, everyone's favorite. Uh, there will be so many events that evening. And all right, are you ready for this? You got Art Lore Studio, the Bayfront Gallery, Beachcomber Gallery, Black Eagle Goods and their, their new neighbor, Point Four Vintage Boutique. Uh, you got Brouhaha at the Colony Plaza. There's an eerie CPR uh, meeting courtesy of Civitas. Then you've got the Community Gallery at First Presbyterian Church of the Covenant. And uh, you have 319W2 Project Space on West 2nd Street. That's 319 West 2nd Street, courtesy of Eyewash Productions. And Glasgow Growers Gallery with their neighbors, the Erie Art Museum, of course. And you have exhibits on the first and second floor of PACA, as well as the third floor of 1505 State Street at Clay Space. And you also have the Presque Isle Artist Gallery and the Cummings Art Gallery at Mercyhurst University. That's a lot of stuff. Check it out. Go to the Erie Art Museum. Go to erieartmuseum.org for more info. And the Mighty C will be at WQLN's penultimate Sounds Around Town performance. That'll be fantastic. And then Cruisin' will be at the Brew Brothers stage at the Presque Isle Downs and Casino. So check that out. That'll be fun too. Uh, you also have Dysmorphia, Bastard, 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 Survivors, Sudden Frost, Red Tank, and My Father's Garage at Bobby's Place. So get out to Bobby's Place right when you can. And straighten your bangs and bust out the eyeliner because Jekyll and Hines will be hosting their second fun-filled emo night. And that was just fantastic the first time. And Tony Gray and Ian Masiak, the galactic duo, will be at the King's Rook Club but more on that later. We'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, all right, moving on. Saturday at PACA, the Performing Arts Collective Alliance, you can catch This American Song, Pine Diary, friend of the show, Brooke Surgeoner, and Jeffrey Glover to benefit PACA. And head on over there, that'll be fantastic. Uh, Refuge will be at Coconut Joe's as well. Sunday at the station, and Fred Oakman will be at the Sunset Grill on Saturday in Edinburgh. Meanwhile, Jones for Revival will be at the King's Rook Club that day, too. The band Hamilton will be at the Brew Brothers Casino, and Tabla for Two will be at the Unitarian Universalist Church. There's just so much going on, including Taylor Dane of Love Will Lead You Back, fame at the UPMC Park, and the Wild America Nature Festival going on at Panama Rocks. Saturday and Sunday. All right, that's, that's so many things. All right, there was that one thing that I, ta that I talked to you about um, that I mentioned. Um, it was Tony Gray and Ian Masiak at the King's Rook Club. And for that, we actually have, from left to right, Ian Masiak and Tony Gray. Thank you guys for coming on the show. Thank you. As the galactic duo. And so, How'd you guys get together? How'd you guys find each other out there in this crazy world? Well, I think we met at uh, the Blue Pike Awards. Oh yeah, like three years ago, 
I was playing there with my other band, Speths, at the time. Oh, I love Speths. <laughs> Hardest <laughs> band name to pronounce ever. <laughs> and Tony was in the house band, and when he walked in the room, I was looking around like, why, why is no one recognizing that Tony Gray's in the building? Because <laughs> I knew who he was. Yeah. And then after, the, after I played and after they were done playing, I went up and talked to him, and that was the first time we met. Mm -hmm. And then just filling in for gigs that he was playing and had the idea for the project a while ago, but it didn't really come to fruition until last year. Who are some other people you guys have worked with around town? Eric. Eric Burr. Eric Burr. Burr. Um, yes. Alec. Mayor. Oh, yeah. Mayor. Mayor. Yeah. yeah, we're just trying to do our thing and make it like, so it's easy for somebody else to come in and, and jam with us because it pulls us off in a, a different direction so we can find new mm -hmm. ways of exploring this, this music, you know? I mean, this is probably the worst question of all time, but how would you, you know, classify your sound? It is, you know, it's, a, it's an improvised kind of jazz-based thing, but it... You know, growing up, I had a lot of different loves musically. I love Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. Prince, like uh, Tears for Fears, like British mm -hmm. pop stuff yeah, as yeah. well. A lot of that uh, influenced me a lot. And then I got into drum and bass and uh, like dance music. Yeah, I was a yeah. DJ for a long time. And then when I went to Berkeley, I left England, went to Berkeley, and uh, I studied jazz. Mm -hmm. So I was all, only jazz. And so I kind of abandoned that other. Right, right. But you uh, still kind of had that like. You know the pop electronic stuff, like yeah, it was in your kind of in your soul, and then yeah. So when I composed, I've got all these different colors and emotions that I like to play yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. So then many uh, different genres kind of so it kind of went together. full circle for me, you know, because yeah. I'm still acting like a DJ when I play. Yeah, and then Ian, of course, is an incredible drummer. For the simply just a literal duo. You, you, there's so much sound coming out, and obviously you mentioned you know working with you know computers, but essentially it's it's you on bass and you on drums. Yeah. And how I do some you, synth stuff. I do yeah. synth kind, kind of, of the pad thing. Yeah. When we started working together, I don't know. There were like ten songs that we were trying to work through, so there were already parts written for everything. And I had to just come up with a part for everything and all those other sounds, we had to figure out how to, how to make, make that happen live with only <laughs> right. two people. Yeah. So, and not sound like karaoke as well, because we, exactly. like, we don't want to be playing. You don't want to just press a with, button. And, and then play yeah. along with it. Yeah, so I'm yeah. trying to yeah, use the technology and pedal boards and ways of like triggering stuff. And Yeah, have it, have it actually be, you know, made by yourself at that yeah. moment. Yeah. 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 And uh, you guys have got a few things coming up. Around the Pike, I've heard. A new album in the works, is that correct? Yeah, yep. finished that. It's finished, we're just getting mastered right now, so anytime now really we'll be ready with it. And we're starting to write for a second CD now as well, which we're gonna start having some. Oh, excellent. Really special guests. Follow follow them on Facebook and any yeah, Facebook. any kind of different thing that, that you can. You can check out like website, tonygray.com. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna get a website built for the duo Instagram, Tony Gray bass, and Ian hits drums. Yep. Mm -hmm. So follow us, keep Fantastic. up to date. Yeah, and you guys are both uh, music teachers and. Uh, so TonyGrayBassAcademy.com. <laughs> yeah. If you want to check it out, check out some free lessons and all that good stuff. Thank you guys, Ian, Tony. You guys are fantastic musicians, and please check us out in two weeks from now. Uh, go check out our YouTube channel. It's fun uh, for all the past episodes and all the other antics and performances there. And if you want your event to be mentioned, go to eerireader.com and go to its calendar page and hit submit your event to the Eerie Reader and it will be seen and it will be printed and it will be known. So have a great day, week, two weeks, and I'll see you later.
Thank you.